tonight at 10 as petrol prices keep rising. A prediction that tomorrow it could cost an unprecedented £100 to fill a typical family car. The numbers keep going up, pushed by the war in Ukraine and moves to cut Europe's dependence on Russian oil. It's heartbreaking. Believe me, it's, uh, it's shocking. The other day I went a little bit outside the city and I paid like £2 per litre. It was like a <laughs> big surprise, yeah. And misery for rail travellers as the RMT union announces a series of walkouts over pay linked to the rising cost of living. We'll be looking at the intense pressures at home and abroad that are driving up prices and leading to industrial strife. Also tonight. Our current wait time for a doctor is seven and a half hours. Video footage emerges of patients being warned of huge waits to see a doctor in A&E. The mass shooting in Uvalde in Texas two weeks ago, which left 19 children and two adults dead. US lawmakers hear harrowing testimony from survivors. He shot my friend that was next to me, and I thought he was going to come back to the room. So I grabbed the blood and I put it all over me. And the artist who depicted both fantasy and her own life, Dame Paula Rago, has died at the age of 87. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, it's one of the most lucrative and controversial tournaments ever. Six-time major winner Phil Mickelson is due to tee off at the first Saudi-funded live golf event in Hertfordshire. Good evening. Motorists and rail travellers are bracing themselves as rising prices and consequent demands for pay increases combine to create a perfect travel storm. The price of petrol is soaring, largely due to the war in Ukraine, and the RAC is predicting the cost of filling a typical family car could go above £100 tomorrow. On the railways, the RMT union says it's the cost of living crisis, with inflation running at 9%, which has prompted a planned series of walkouts later this month. And to cap it all, there is little sign of an immediate upturn in the UK's prospects, according to the economic think tank, the OECD. It predicts 0% growth next year, meaning the UK will become the slowest growing country in the G7 group of industrial nations. Our business editor Simon Jack reports. 